His reading is for Scorpio for the month of April, year 2023. Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. This is a general reading. Uh, please remove any negative energy from my environment and myself. Please remove any negative energy from my tarot cards, my spinner, and my crystal ball. Please allow 200 angels to come in, assist, and guide you through. And anyone out there practicing any witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo that you do, I rebuke you in the name of Allah. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Prophet Muhammad Akbar. And I rebuke you in the name of Noble Drew Ali. May he bestow wisdom and guidance onto my readings. O oh Allah, send down the reins of wisdom. O oh Lord of majesty and bounty, spread your mercy on me. Scorpio, someone is trying to place burdens upon you. You're tired of burdens. When you are successful, this makes others angry. They're envious. picking up on angry energy someone's upset you're not letting bygones be bygones you're done there's something that you are done with there's a lot of anger that I'm picking up Allah, show me this anger for Scorpio. Why is Scorpio the five of wands? There was arguing, some argument that had took place here. Why was there an argument? Why was there a fight? You possibly had to put someone in their place, okay, with the five of swords. These are jealous people. These are envious people. Anytime you start to... Um, be successful or move in the right direction. It's like these negative people are trying to pull you back. Um, there's a separation here. It could be separation from family, friends, um, a loved one, like a partnership. You're just done with the burdens. You're not compromising. You're not letting bygones be bygones. Ten of Pentacles, this could be your money, your finances, your interest. It could be family, it could be friends, like I said, okay? That Ten of Pentacles is supposed to be yours. Somebody possibly could owe you some money. The Two of Pentacles is here. Somebody was possibly juggling. You could possibly be dealing with the ups and the downs, okay? Your mission is the Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment, your happiness. <laughs> okay? That's what you're concerned about is your wishful, your wishes. Your, you know, you, you want to be happy in life. And a lot of people that's jealous of you don't want you to be happy. Allah, please send Scorpio 200 angels to stand, guard, guide, and protect. Allah, please send me 200 angels to stand guard, guide, and protect me as I open this portal. I do not partner you with my divination, but I ask of you to guide me through.
so that my readings could be truthful, accurate, and honest. You're also stripping away illusions. You're also stripping away fake friends, um, you know, two-faced family members and false lovers. Scorpio. 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 Yeah, you got to avoid obstacles. These people were bringing you obstacles, okay? Those are the burdens. True story. Sometimes those burdens do not belong to you. They belong to other people. Show me a lot of Scorpio's current energy. Material work. Okay, material work. You putting in work. Okay, you know you have to work to get that material success. Okay, and that abundance. You got material work. And you got abundance here. And some people don't want you to have that. Oh, well, you're entitled to that. Allah, confirm material work and abundance for Scorpio. Hmm. So we have the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody walked away. They abandoned their own success. Okay, they abandoned it. You didn't abandon yours. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody was trying to slow down your success. Hmm. Illusion, success. Somebody is trying to play, play like they were all put together. Like they had something more than you, more value, and it was an illusion, okay? So when they found out that you work hard for some Scorpios, you put in the work to get that abundance, they wanted to slow that down with the Knight of Pentacles. They tried to offer you an illusion, and you didn't, you didn't want it. The Ten of Cups. Okay, the Ten of Cups is whatever makes you happy. Somebody was trying to offer you an illusion regarding this Ten of Cups. <laughs> they were, they, you found out there was some fakeness going on. Knight of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, the Knight of Wands, that's somebody that could be you, you know, somebody that's very attractive. Okay, all eyes can be on you, and you have some jealousy in the background. Well, I won't say in the background, you saw the jealousy face up full throttle okay you have strife here and you have the ace of pentacles which this is a blessing okay so there's some strife over some finances here there's some strife over your blessings your new beginning and then you have look somebody princes of pentacles king of cups Material happiness is in reverse, and you have oppression, okay, which is the Ten of Wands. So whoever this is, whoever this is involved, once when you got possibly in a relationship with this person, they were like, oh, we're good together, or whatever this Ten of Cups is for you, you found out that they were nothing but burdens and filled with strife. Okay, somebody has control issues. You have the Princess of Pentacles here. And you have the King of Cups. And like I said, the material happiness is in reverse. Whew. So just because somebody is down and out, and you possibly was helping this person or this family, or, you know, a friend, whoever this is, they did not want to see you flourish. This is why the strife came out with the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here is a financial hater. They don't want you to come up, but you, you're not going to, you're not going to sit for anyone. You're not going to settle for less. Okay. So Allah confirm the strife with the Ace of Pentacles. What's this strife? Mm. Hmm. You have 
material gain here. You have material gain. Some Scorpios, not all. So please take what resonates. They wanted, they were trying to slow down your finances here. What's this Seven of Cups, this illusion? And there, this, this Seven of Cups could be you having different resources to gain that material confirmation, to gain that uh, material success. Material loss, material trouble. Okay, so I'm hearing bottom feeders. These people were bottom feeders. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't fulfill their success. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles in this deck is um, unfulfilled success. These are bottom feeders. You defeated them. They try to defeat you some way, somehow, but you defeated them. You're defeated. Dominant, yeah. They wanted to hold on to you and keep something else in the background. Knight of Swords, so there was something or someone came rushing in. Someone came rushing in, okay? This is that confrontation with the swiftness, the Eight of Wands. The Moon, somebody tried to play as if it was a mystery, as if you, they didn't know why you were upset. It's over wealth. Then you have another Knight of Wands here. This is not your burdens. Three of wands, okay? Establish strength. That's what you have to do or that's what you did. You established strength. And there was a change. The two of pentacles, the ups and downs, the change. So why is all this over finances, Allah? Bottom feeders, leeches, they don't want you to succeed, there, uh, three of swords, third party energy, somebody was trying to afflict some pain, somebody was trying to hurt you, okay, or Scorpio, you have done this, okay, they're an unstable effort, so the, somebody is emotionally unstable here. They, they don't put in the work on themselves, okay? You possibly blocked them out. You protected your heart and your energy after. And they're like, let's just let bygones be bygones, okay? So Allah, confirm. <laughs> confirm the unstable effort, the sorrow, and the peace. You blocked them out for the peace. Yeah, yes. nine of swords is here. And judgment. Somebody's going over in their head what they have done to you, okay? Regardless of who this is, like I said, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be a lover, a lover, okay? Somebody was trying to use you, and you saw the light here. You saw the light. Scorpio's like, I'm not letting bygones be bygones. Somebody was trying to cause some misery and great pain, and they're under judgment for it. You call judgment on this. So if you put in massive work in yourself to be financially stable, and from what I'm seeing, Scorpio would take the shirt, you know, the shirt off of their back to give to someone, and somebody thought that they can one-up on you, thought that they can manipulate you, use you, try to paint a picture, you know what I'm saying? It was only an illusion. They thought that if they could lie to you, and deceive you some way, then you would be blinded by that. Yeah, see? It keeps coming back out. The Seven of Swords. So somebody here was definitely sneaky. They were sneaky as hell. They thought that you wouldn't catch on, but you did. Look at that. You stood tall. You stood tall. Queen of Pentacles, you could have been dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or that's your nurturing energy. Somebody had you messed up. Somebody misjudged you just because you were kind, okay, down to earth. 
sympathetic, you know, to others' needs. They thought that they could get over on you. No, nah, they can't. <laughs> Something came to a light, possibly about a child. But you have the sun here, okay? And that sun represents something being illuminated. It also represents your energy, okay? The nine of swords, whatever came to light, it brought somebody completely stressed. They can't sleep. They're in full of regret. So what came to light for Scorpio? What came to light for Scorpio? The strife. The strife. You got tired of it. You got you got fed up with it. The high priest or the high priestess. Even a cancer could be involved, okay? But you already knew. You have your own knowledge. You remained silent until the strife had had blew up. You waited to see how these people or person was going to act towards you. Okay? Yeah, there's got to be a water sign involved. The Queen of Cups is here and the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That could be your energy. You know, that possibly kind of threw you off a little bit. You know, for somebody to come at you this way over what you're gaining. Somebody wanted to oppress you and you blocked them out for the peace. It's back out here again. Somebody was a cheater. Somebody was trying to cause some type of harm or affliction. Being sneaky as hell. <clears throat> then you got the Eight of Swords here, shortening the force. And then you got the Ten of Swords, which is ruined. Scorpio's like hell way with all of that. I'm getting my Ace of Pentacles with or without you. Okay? Well, Ace of Cups, it's the Ace of Pentacles because I see it. But, you know, this is you. You, you want that, that Ace of Cups here. Why did I just see Ace of Pentacles? You have earthly power, okay? With the Four of Pentacles, you're going to hold back. You're holding back communication. Somebody wants you to respond. You're not responding. You figure silence is, is more powerful than getting yourself upset. Confirmation. Yeah, you're focused on your abundance. You're not focused on no oppression. Once when somebody betrays a Scorpio, okay, Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, somebody also, this isn't for everybody, but somebody was trying to get somebody locked up too, okay? Yeah, you putting in that material work, so what's the problem here? Why did this, why did this person want to cause Scorpio so much strife? Somebody from the past that did, that was supposed to have some type of enlightening. You got the hangman here. Knight of Cups. This was an offer. Material gain. Okay, this is, is back out here. That's the Eight of Pentacles. So this is definitely jealousy here that I'm picking up. This person had no reason to do this. You're putting in material work. Somebody wanted to stop it. You got an empress here that came out in reverse. That could be a baby mother. Could be a baby mother, a baby father. Well, they're under judgment because Scorpio, you earned your success and now you can go freely, okay, to calmer waters. The Six of Swords is here. Yep, Chariot, you're moving on. They tried to wound you, okay, the Nine of Wands. So let this person sit in their own soil. Okay, let them sit in their own, their own mess. You got the emperor upright and you got the empress in reverse. You got temperance here. So there's an angel that's guiding you away from this for your safety. Somebody wanted you to compromise with them, reconcile with them. But you, could, you are good in management here. This is them wanting to compromise. Let's just let bygones be bygones. It's only so you can give to them the six of pentacles. But they treated you like an option. Okay? And they tried to defeat you, but they only just defeated themselves. And this is a cycle period that had to close out. 
You got perfected work here with the Four of Wands. That's your stability. So there's a lot of people that, that is jealous of your stability. But they want your energy. They want your finances. And if they can't, confirmation, if they can't get it, then they're going to try to do what they can for you to not have it. And they failed. They failed. Mm -mm, that's pure selfishness. So, Scorpio, you're not letting bygones be bygones. It's like, nah, I'm not giving in to that. Show me more for Scorpio. Thank you, Allah. Yep. You opened your mind and you opened that door. <laughs> and you walked through it. Allah, confirm open mind for Scorpio. Yeah. You have the law of attraction, okay? Someone finds you, people find you very attractive, just your energy alone. But sometimes when you attract those people, they are in negative energy and you could be in the positive. And that's what throws you off. Yeah, they look at you as if you're a win-win situation. These people were targeting you. Okay? Well, they're foolish for that. Hmm. They're foolish. Yeah, somebody wants you to mend the relationship. Let bygones be bygones. And if Scorpio mends this relationship with this bottom feeder, this is this is the energy that I'm getting and this is what I'm hearing. They're bottom feeders. No disrespect to anybody, but this is it is what it is. So what if Scorpio mends the relationship with this bottom feeder, with these bottom feeders who wants to see Scorpio down or you, Scorpio? Look, cut ties. Because they're snakes. This is a snake. If it's a if it's a family member, if it's if it's an ex-lover, or if it's a friend. See that mender relationship? Y'all heard what I asked. Cut ties to the snakes. Because if you mend the relationship, this is going to be bad for your finances. Okay? Share the wealth. It's going to be bad. You better tell them to do it themselves. They better get it however. But they got to do whatever it is that they got to do to get their own money or to get their own stability. They got to do it themselves. Just as well as you got to do it yourself, so do they. <laughs> because your stability is a big deal. God gave you this stability. Okay? And it's a big deal. So they better do it themselves. If you go back to mend this relationship, cut ties to these snakes because it's going to be bad. It's all for money. They better do it themselves. Because you are a big deal. Anything else for Scorpio? Yep. K sera sera. Once when that argument took place and the mask fell off and you you saw their true identity, boom! That that blew up in their face. That's when you had enough. They want things to be 50-50, but there's nothing coming from them. It was all coming from you. So now somebody got to watch their back. This was probably the threat that they threw to you, Scorpio. Watch your back. Okay, so why should Scorpio have to watch their back now? Because somebody's going to try to roll the dice. Somebody's going to try to twist the fate. How? An encounter. So be careful. And it's because they ain't got no bread. They don't have no money. That's your passion. That's your money. So be careful because we got pop here. Pop the cork is supposed to be celebration. We got standby. So don't stand by anywhere. Okay, because somebody is furious. This is passion, yes. But somebody is having a, a strong passion to get even with you. Okay? They can't sleep and they are unlucky. <laughs> they are unlucky. 
Yep. This could be good, which is sexual encounter. That's a dead end. You're no longer interested, okay? So <laughs> there's going to be some obstacles, either you or these people that's involved or this person. This the, They were bad luck. I just say it like that. But now you, it's like you got to avoid obstacles. You know, they the ones that got to avoid the obstacles because you're standing in your power. Pack your bags and leave. You left. You left. You left this person alone. You left this person or people alone. And this is what that temperance angel was guiding you to do. You had to see this. Okay? These people or person is not going to change. These people are omens. They're bad luck, not only to you, but to themselves and others. Yeah, struggle. This is why they're struggling, okay? This is why they want you to struggle where you don't have to. It's because they're bad luck. They're not go-getters. They, they want to sit there with their hand out, but they're not earning anything. Yeah, they try to burden you because they're burdened. This is the truth that I'm speaking, and you also saw the truth. You left. You retreated. You left them alone. Yeah, you went to your sacred space, and you're possibly not even talking to nobody. You're not talking to this person. I'm hearing, I'm not letting bygones be bygones, okay? You're in joy. You're joyful, okay? <laughs> That's what you want. That's that Ace of Cups there. Mm-hmm. Wow, there's a snake on this card. Integration. Yeah, you were dealing with the snake. You were dealing with the snake. You trapped that snake, though. That you trapped that snake. You seen the snakes. Movement into balance. It came out in reverse. So this person is not balanced. So why do they, they don't want you to be balanced? Like, if they're not balanced, why should you be? Okay, the past, present, and the future. You done dealt with this person before. You done dealt with this energy before. So you have knowledge, ancient wisdom. Wow. <laughs> Somebody got to feel stupid. The bottom of the deck, you are honoring your own energy. Yeah, death. Okay, death and rebirth. Reborn. You're letting go. Yep, you let it go. You let it go. That's that's all what you could do. Mhm. Mm Teaching. Masculine energy. Huh. So there's a masculine energy that I'm taught you, or you could be this masculine energy, okay? You're very, um, you're filled with wisdom here. You, you already seen, you seen a lot in your life, okay? And that taught you, okay? And you're not going to rush anything. Yep, it's a new day. You let that go. You're not compromising. You're not letting bygones be bygones. What was done to you was some snake-ish. Okay, so from what I see, you chopped this, whoa, wow, you chopped the snake's head off. <laughs> you chopped the head off that snake. So all their little threats and all what they're going to do, they better think again because it's only going to get themselves more burdens. <sighs>
She chopped the heads off them snakes. <laughs> yeah. Yep, creativity. Somebody was being creative here with that three of cups. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're psychic. Psychic development. You already knew. You already knew what time it was. So that's why that high priest, high priestess came out. They couldn't pull the wool over your eyes. Yeah, reunion of souls. Okay? Huh. And it's a new day for you. You don't have time for setbacks. I'm hearing screw the burdens. You got self-love here. You're not going to put yourself through any more burdens for anyone else. That's unnecessary. And we got masculine energy and feminine energy here. You got unlimited possibilities at the bottom of your deck. Okay, so enjoy those unlimited possibilities because those unlimited possibilities is bringing you your abundance and bringing you a new day. You don't have time for somebody else's burdens and struggles that's not yours. Is you kidding me? I got to check something real quick. Hold on. And then I'm going to close this reading out. Somebody made a threat like you better watch your back. Huh. Allah revealed to me why was this threat being made towards Scorpio to watch their back? Show me this encounter for Scorpio. Huh. Allah, you are the all seeing, all hearing, all knowing. Show me this threat that was made to Scorpio. You better watch your back. Allah, show me this threat. Better watch your back and encounter. What I tell you? A two-faced lover over money. Over money. Look. So they threatened you over your finances, over your money? Come again. <laughs> Show me more of this empty threat. It's empty to me. This is what I'm, yeah. Child support, baby, fortune. Really? And baby can also be your new beginning. So somebody looking at you like you're a jackpot. Scorpio's like, I ain't worried about it. <laughs> Scorpio's like, I am not worried about that. I am not sad over that. I am not sad. Send this flew out in reverse. It's over, okay? Somebody that ran out of time. Yep. Scorpio's like, I'm not taking no more losses. See? This is losses. This is gambling. Scorpio said, I'm not taking no more losses. And I am not sad over that. Scorpio said, when it's over, it's over.
Show me more for Scorpio. Yeah, thoughts and watching. So they're stalking you. They can't stop thinking about you. Ooh, that's my prayer time. Okay, I gotta hurry. Okay, so, yeah, they're thinking about you and they're watching you. It's over. So the little empty threats, they can do whatever they want. It's, it's, it's over. Somebody turned into your enemy. It's over. Be careful, because there's an enemy out there. Be careful. What's the outcome for Scorpio? Gotta hurry. What's the outcome for Scorpio? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay? You're healing. You got your hopes, your inspirations, and your dreams. Okay? And you're successful no matter what you put your mind to. <laughs> Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You are good with finances. Okay, you are psychic, intuitive. You are a very faithful, loving person. Okay, somebody just tried to get over on you and it didn't work. Yep, told you. You're psychic. You know what others don't know. Ace of Pentacles. Yep. Fighting, arguing, finances. It came out, <laughs> okay? Some truth came out. What was this truth? What was this truth that came out? What was brought to the light? You're abundant, <laughs> okay? You're beautiful. Your money is safe, okay? You're a hard worker, no matter what you do, okay? So it's known that you are, you know, you have some ducats here. Duckets is finances, okay? Somebody was communicating to you that they have less. They're watching your stockpile. These people, is like I'm, like I'm saying, okay, they're scavengers. The, whoever this is, they're scavengers, bottom feeders. They need to get a job. They need to work. You put in the work, so why can't they? So show me more of this threat just to be on the safe side. Even though I know Scorpio is not worried. There's an enemy. Show me this enemy. It's from the past. Okay, hang me in. The best thing to do is to leave these people alone somebody has selfish interests so the best thing that you could do is leave these people alone who has burdens that's not your burden they think you don't know moon in reverse so we have the sun and the moon so something came out somebody didn't didn't think that you knew but you're the high priestess here Somebody didn't want you to know. So what was the secret? What was the secret with the moon in reverse and sun upright? Somebody was starting over. Somebody was being foolish. Somebody uh, wasn't being truthful here. So confirm the sun upright, the moon in reverse, and the fool card. Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It's a message, okay? Could be children involved. I saw you flip over. Yeah, manifest. Okay, what's this magician? Manifest. The Three of Swords. Huh. So this Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, pretty much they told on themselves. The Three of Swords is here. 
Tell me more about this Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, and his Three of Swords. Yeah, they're a player. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They thought they, they can get over. Ten of Pentacles is out here again. Yeah, you could have a family with this person. If not, this could be family, friends, a old lover, a lover. Show me the Ten of Pentacles. You got the emperor here, and the emperor is father. Okay, somebody that has authority. Two of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody had a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in the background. Okay? You're not messing with them anymore. You're not you're not messing with them. So a Capricorn, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an Aries, a Sagittarius here. That's too much energy. Yeah, so you stopped. This is people that was involved. This was a lot of people that was involved here. Or it could just be different segments for Scorpios, whatever you was dealing with, okay? So confirm the Queen of Wands, King of Wands, the Emperor, and the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles could be a mother, could be a sister, could be in, yeah, judgment. All these people are, <laughs> all these people are going to judgment. They're dealing with judgment now because they try to manipulate you. This is like a crowd here. And they're stressed the hell out now. Because justice is being served against them. Once when you held back. Once when you held back your energy. Once when you stopped giving. Once when you just, just let the irritation go and you walked away. That was because an angel was telling you to walk away. An angel grabbed your collar or grabbed your hand and said, come on, let's go. Okay? And you walked away. And you held back. You're holding back right now. Why these people are all under judgment. This is a damn. I feel you, Scorpio. Look, you got judgment and you got justice here. Okay, for what they did. For what they did. That's deep. You did the right thing, though. You did the right thing. Let them sit in their judgment because justice ruled in your favor regarding this one. All right, that's all I have for you.